Hello everyone, Electrical Squid here, and welcome to another Noob Squid Plays video. So, today I'm going to be playing Phasmophobia. So, this game has become quite popular since it came out uh, a few months ago, and I decided to try, it, to try it out over Christmas break, and I've actually become pretty addicted to it. So, yeah, anyway, so to start off, I'm going to be doing a solo investigation and then after that, I might hop into a random lobby and play with some other people. So, let's go. So, basically in this game, you have to enter a building and you have to use certain equipment to identify what type of ghost is haunting the place. On top of some other optional objectives as well. Okay, here we are. So, the ghost's name is Donna Brown, so obviously we have to discover what type of ghost we're dealing with. Uh, we have to capture a photo of dirty water, detect a room below 10 degrees Celsius for the thermometer, and try and capture a photo of the ghost. So, so once we enter the building, we have to we have five minutes to set everything up. So, we'll do just that. So, I'm going to start off by uh, picking up the strong flashlight here, a thermometer, and the video camera. So, let's go. I'm going to get out the thermometer here, open the truck. Alright, let's head on in. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on this light here because keeping the light on is necessary. It's not because I'm scared or anything. It is necessary to maintain sanity because if our sanity level goes down, then that means the ghost is going to like hunt more for I don't think more frequently, but like it'll become more likely to hunt me if anything. Right now I'm just searching the rooms for cold temperatures. Once the temperature drops a certain amount, that means the ghost is in that room. So let's see. Doesn't seem to be in the living room. Doesn't seem to be in the dining room or the kitchen. Okay. Laundry room. Nothing yet. Garage. Nothing. So it might be in the basement. Who would have thought? Though I'm not getting any cold temperatures, oddly enough. Okay, temperature dropped quite a bit. So it's right, it's gotta be right here. Alright, so I'll drop the thermometer here. And, oh, uh, it looks like car key, so if the car goes off in there somehow. So uh, I'll place the camera right here. I'll also turn the light off here these lights rather. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the truck and check for ghost orbs. It doesn't look like there's any ghost orbs. Alright. Well. Um, next thing I'm going to grab is the EMF reader and the spirit box. So I'll turn the lights back on just to maintain my sanity. read what the thermometer is saying. I'll just drop it on the table for now. It's still saying 8 degrees. Alright, well, let's try the spirit box. Are you here? Actually, I'm pretty sure the lights have to be off for it to work. Are you here? Yeah! 
Oh. Okay, we got a spirit box reading. So, we gotta go into our journal here. I think it's a journal. Put spirit box on there. So, that covers that evidence. So next thing I'm gonna grab is the ghost writing book. I'll also grab the UV flashlight to look for fingerprints. But man, I'll tell you right now, hunting alone is definitely a lot scarier than hunting uh, with three other people, which is what I usually do in this game. So, uh, so we'll place it right there. And let's see if we got any fingerprints. Because that can also be epic. Anything on the light switches? No. Hmm. Right, the thing we'll do is I'll turn off the lights again. Keep looking for spirit orbs and I'll see if I can see through the camera if the ghost decides to write in the book. It is a bit difficult to see the book in the camera, but so far for potential ghosts we got Spirit, Wraith, Poltergeist, Jin, Mare, Demon, Oni, and that's it. So far I'm not seeing any Spirit orbs, so I think we can cut that out of the situation. Wait, below, okay, below 10 degrees. But it's not freezing, so you can't really say freezing temperatures yet. Okay, we got ghost writing. Ghost writing. Okay, I'm gonna search for more fingerprints and see if the ghost decide to lay some down. Oh, we got a bone as well. So we could also capture a photo of that for evidence. Well, uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna head out real quick. <laughs> um, I don't know why the lights just turned off. It could be the breaker, maybe? Yeah, it might be the breaker, because I could have swore that if you uh, turn on too many lights, then that's when they shut themselves off. But maybe, it's, maybe it could be if you leave them on for too long. I don't know. So that's kind of that's, that's kind of dumb. But yeah, so we have spirit box and ghost writing. So it could either be a spirit, demon, or oni. It's checking for ghost orbs. So like, can I add ghost orbs onto here? And... Yeah. Okay. So go it's definitely not ghost orbs. We got any fingerprints or anything like that, so um, the bone moved. I just realized. <laughs> so which ones? Okay, that. So what's the thermometer's not saying anything different? All right, you know what? Let's provoke it a little. Donna Brown, are you here? In case the temperature, and like, it can sometimes like go right from like just under 10 to under zero. So I'll keep my eye out for that. Donna Brown, give us a sign. This only works if you hold B, V, by the way, I believe. So, oh, oh, that was just lightning. Give us a sign. Donna Brown, give us a sign. Okay, it flickered the lights a little bit. It doesn't seem to be showing freezing temperatures at all, as a matter of fact. So... Let's head back to the truck. 
So EMF level 5, spirit box, and ghost writing. So it could be an Oni. Demon, freezing temperatures, spirit box, and ghost writing. So it can't, it, so it can't, it can't, it can't be an Oni. Or, could it? Yeah, it could be an Oni. Demon, it's not showing any freezing temperatures, so. Spirit. Fingerprints and ghost writing. I have not seen any fingerprints. But since we found a bone on the floor, I'm gonna grab the photo camera. And I'm gonna head back in and keep searching for evidence like fingerprints or the EMF-5. So, grab a picture of this. Because it's good evidence. And it'll give us some extra cash at the end. So, uh, it could, maybe, it could, maybe, maybe the prints could be on the floor? That plate definitely wasn't on the ground. Okay, the lights flickered a little bit. Okay, you know what? I think I'll just turn off the light. Maybe that'll make things easier. And actually show stuff, but maybe not. Yeah, okay. So, it can't be fingerprints, so... I'm just gonna guess EMF level 5 and call it there. Because sometimes, because it's, it is, like, the EMF reader will go on and off often, so, yeah. So, let's see, so, if we go to, if we set this to EMF level 5, it'll be an Oni. So, let's go with that. And if I don't get it, that's a, that's a good. Let's see. Ah, oh, it was a spirit, okay. So, it would have been uh, fingerprints, even though I didn't see any. <laughs> oh well. But anyway, uh. Now I'm gonna go ahead and join and play with some other people. But I'm also gonna see if they were okay with re them recording me for YouTube. Or recording them for YouTube, you know. So, let's go. Hello. GG. Hello. How's it going? Going well, are you? Pretty good. Um, is it alright if I record this for YouTube? Sure, I don't mind. Don't mind me being weird, though. Alright, sure. Great. So, we got a lot of stuff. So that's a good sign. All right, so we're going to the same place, but the difficulty is professional, so I'm down. All right, here we are. So I'm gonna grab a thermometer and... All right, so Helen Williams, hunt, hunt everyone, much take the salt. Uh, watch out, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab an EMF reader as well. Head mounted camera. All right, let's head in. We took that picture. It's in the bathroom. The ghost is in here. It's in the bathroom. Yeah, it is. The temperature is dropping in here. Yeah, I'm getting EMF level 2. Is this camera on? Okay. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go back and grab some more equipment. And let's also grab a ghost... So I'm gonna grab a spirit box and the writing book. Uh, let's see. Are you in here? 
Total city. Are you in here? Are you in here? Alright, well, I'm just gonna leave it in here. And let's go back and detect spirit orbs. Have we detected any spirit orbs? Let's grab a... What else should we grab? Someone already has a UV flash. Right? I'm gonna grab my own now. And then go look for some fingerprints. My fingerprints look. Say we got EMF level 5. It's the same. Okay, it is near freezing. Are you in here? It's freezing Alright, so we got freezing temperatures as well. Writing though. Okay. So it could be a banshee. Alright, what do we got? What do we got for optional objectives? going to try and get a photo of the ghost if I can. Okay, I'm getting freezing breath out here. What's the ghost's name? William? Okay. Helen William, are you here? Helen William, give us a sign. Helen William, are you here? Helen William, where are you? Helen William? One of the can- one of the candle- some of the candles are going out. Like she want to Helen Williams, are you here? Helen Williams. Helen Williams, show yourself. Helen Williams, show yourself. Oh, I hear it. Got a picture. Huh. 
We're all done. I think that was actually the first time I ever got a photo of the ghost. I'm going to take all of these drugs right now. <laughs> Alright, okay. Yeah, there's our picture of the ghost. So let's see whether or not it was a banshee. It was a banshee. $240. Nice. GG. Well, that was a successful one, other than like the one I played myself. But uh, yeah, we even managed to capture a photo of the ghost, so I might even prove to be a good thumbnail. But um, <laughs> anyways, that was me playing Phasmophobia, so hopefully you guys enjoyed. And if you did, be sure to smack the like button. And if you're considering on subscribing to the channel, be sure to hit the bell icon so you never miss a new video. And if you want to support me even more, be sure to check the links in the description. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace!